Hey, it's Ryan with Parts Doctor, and today I'm going to show you to replace the freezer defrost heater on the Samsung refrigerator. We'll need a few different tools for the job. We'll leave those listed in the description below. Let's get started. For this repair, unplug or disconnect power to the refrigerator. The first thing that you'll need to do is open up the freezer drawer. Next, remove the upper freezer tray assembly by pushing it to the rear, lifting the wheels out of the slots, and then lifting up on the front to remove it. Next, remove the freezer box tray by tilting the rear and pushing back to remove it from the front slot, then tilt forward and lift up to remove. Next, remove the four 10 millimeter bolts. There are two on each side. Next, we can remove the freezer door by grabbing both sides, lifting up to remove the door brackets from the slide rails and lifting out to remove. Next, remove the retaining pin from the gear shaft by simply pulling it out. Next, remove the gear shaft by sliding it to the right then lifting up on the left side and sliding it out to remove it. Next, remove these two Phillips screws. Before removing the panel, it's a good idea to let it thaw out in case the panel's frozen in place. You do not want to use any additional heat sources as it can warp the inside of the freezer. Grab the bottom of the panel, pull towards you, then pull down. Be careful as the top is still connected by wires. Now disconnect the electrical plug by depressing the locking clip and pulling out. Now rotate the top of the panel downward to remove it from the freezer. With the evaporator cover removed, we'll now need to remove the electrical cover to give us access to the wires. Squeeze the sides of the cover and pivot it to the side to remove it. There are three separate electrical plugs. You'll need to depress each of the locking clips to remove the plugs. With the electrical plugs removed, we'll now need to separate them by prying and removing the retaining clips. Now, cut the zip tie. Next, disconnect the electrical plug in the top left. Next, remove the two heater retainer clips. Using a screwdriver, bend the metal tab back. Then, squeeze the side and pull it out. You may need to use a screwdriver if it doesn't come out easily. Now, bend the four metal tabs using a needle nose pliers to give enough clearance for the defrost heater to be removed. For this next step, you'll want some gloves, as we'll be working with some sharp edges. Next, pry out the left and right sides of the defrost heater. Now, push the bottom of the heater down to release it from the tabs. With the heater released from the tabs, you can now remove it from the freezer. Next, drill out the rivet on the drain probe. Now, pry open the drain probe and remove it from the heater. If you have a bad defrost heater and you need to purchase a new one, you can check out our website, partsdoctor.com. We'll leave a link in the description below. You'll want to make sure that you're searching with the model number from the tag on your refrigerator to make sure that you get the correct part. You can also check out our other video that shows how to test a defrost heater. To install the drain probe, first find the center, then clip it onto the heater. Now pinch the two sides of the probe together to clamp it onto the heater. Next, rivet the drain probe in place to secure it. With your gloves on, we can now install the defrost heater. Make sure it's oriented with this plug in the upper left corner. Now align the probe with the hole and insert the heater. Next, pry the sides of the defrost heater until they sit in the openings on the evaporator coil. Now, lift up on the bottom of the defrost heater and rotate the tabs to lock it in place. Next, reinstall the two defrost heater retainer clips, making sure that the pointed part of the clip is facing the rear. First, insert the rear into the slot, then push the front until it snaps into place. Now, bend the metal locking tab. With the defrost heater secured in place, make sure the drain probe is aligned properly. The drain probe transfers heat from the defrost heater to prevent moisture that's dripping down from freezing up the hole. Now, plug in the upper left electrical plug. Next, install the three electrical plugs back onto the retaining clips. Now, 
Next, plug it back into the wall. Make sure all three plugs snap into place. Next, zip tie the wires back together. Now, reinstall the electrical cover by tucking in the wires and pushing it until it snaps in place. To reinstall the cover, push it to the rear, then rotate it up and set it on the slide rails. Now, reconnect the electrical plug. Now, insert the top of the cover into the slot in the ceiling, then push the bottom parts until they snap into place. Then, reinstall the two Phillips screws. Next, fully extend the freezer drawer slide rails. Take the end of the gear shaft with the hole in it and insert it into the right side. Then align and insert the left side. Now, reinstall the retaining pin. Next, reinstall the freezer door by aligning the tabs on the door brackets with the slots on the freezer glides and setting in place. Now, reinstall the four 10 millimeter bolts. Next, reinstall the freezer box tray by inserting the back first, tilting the front forward into the slot, and then setting it in place. Next, reinstall the upper freezer tray by tilting in the rear and setting it down onto the freezer box tray. Now, push it to the rear and then pull it forward to make sure the wheels are locked in place. So that's it for this repair. If you have any tips or tricks of your own, let us know in the comments below.